After 72 years, Marine PFC Joseph Robert Livermore is home. The Marine returned to his hometown of Bakersfield after his remains were lost at war. Livermore was welcomed back to Bakersfield with open arms for his heroic sacrifice to his country. Police escorted him throughout the city where his remains passed East High, his old high school. Over 300 students and faculty members greeted Livermore with a silent welcoming. A few of them said the connection they feel attending East and knowing Livermore used to walk through the halls is different. I think it, it means a little bit more to me. I graduated from here, so I'm not just a staff member, but I'm also an alumnus. And I, I'm very proud of our veterans and their service and to have a blade be able to come home like that after, after being in uh, you know, a foreign place, family doesn't know where he is. I think it's, a, a, I'm so happy we got to honor him today in this way. It was really a, I'll say a different feeling knowing that somebody from World War II was actually an East High graduate and went here and was on student council. It kind of hit home because I do have people in my family who do serve in the military just as well as he did. Um, but I'm glad here we were able to show what our legacy was about, how family, how we care for one another, and how even though people long before us came, we still will respect them and we will still honor them as long as we, they will honor us. After passing by East, Livermore's remains were taken to Union Cemetery. His nephew, Daryl Felice, was present at the cemetery and during a few words to the press said he couldn't help but feel emotional. I've never been as emotional as this. For, that I can remember. And it's just the fact that it, we're honoring my uncle who passed back 72 years ago. And to bring him back to Bakersfield and, and for you people, everybody I've touched has been wonderful. State Senator Shannon Grove was present at the event and said how thankful she was for everyone's help and what an amazing day it has been. So we just want to tell you thank you very much for being here on this historic day to bring PFC Livermore home. And um, it, like the family said, it's been an emotional day. And I can tell you that it's been an, a truly a, an honor to be able to serve in this capacity and do um, what we did today. It's just been an amazing day for a hero to come back to Bakersfield and I've just been honored to be a part of it. Livermore will be laid to rest on Friday.